Toss. Hope everyone's having a great evening. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Real Talk with Taz and Anjaya. I tell you, it has been a wonderful week and I've enjoyed reading your feedback on our premiere episode. Uh, you know, like I said, it's in my graphic. We never know what we're going to talk about. It's always going to be unscripted and unfiltered. But what our aim is to bring to light, sometimes in a comical manner, some of the things that we talk about at the kitchen table, or we talk to our girlfriends or our male friends about, we want to bring that to the forefront so that we can all learn from each other. So I hope that you're finding our information um, fun, but also insightful. So we're going to, uh, and Jay should be joining me in just a moment. And I'm reading this to see what, okay. So she should be joining me in just a moment, but um, Real Talk with Taz and Anjaya will be on Instagram every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and 7 p.m. Central Time. So if you can't uh, meet with us live, then you know, come and get the replay. The replay will be on Instagram on my Dr. Teresa Smith page, and it will also be on my YouTube channel, Dr. Taz. So I hope that you will uh, find time to review it and laugh and share it with others. Um, because as I said, we want to talk about the things that are going on in life, but we want to do it in a humorous manner, but also tackle some things that are kind of serious. So I don't see her coming in and I know she's available. So let's just see, hopefully I didn't do anything wrong here. Oh, she's trying to wave at me now. I tell you, she's a waving. Okay. Here she comes. Anjaya, are you there? Anjaya, are you there? Can you see me? Well, I can see you now. I just, I didn't know if you had uh, just what walked on by and left or some what? What happened to you? You don't see me? Hey. No, I don't see you anymore. Oh. Hey, Derika. Hi, Derika. Oh, you don't see me? I don't know why. You know, I was in an interview a couple weeks ago. And uh, now let me see who. We're not going to bring nobody in. Hey, Manswell. Hey, hey. hey I'm not going to bring anybody in. I might go click on it because I clicked on it and somebody be coming in. They'd be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. hey, baby boo. Hey, baby boo. It's so good to see Hello, you. Baby. I'm, hope, I'm so glad to see you. Um, Happy New Year and all of that good stuff. Uh, I have not forgotten you. Uh, I, I can't tell it live, but I did what I said I was going to do. But you know, somebody said, I'm telling it live that they can't have none of that. So you get him because I sent it, I, I dropped it off there. And he said, Oh, they can't have none of that. And it was for you and my aunt. And he said, Oh, they don't need none of that. And he ate it. You can't do that with daddy. Oops. Did I say it was daddy? Can't do that with daddy. But anywho, yes, uh yes, man as well. <laughs> Lord, yes, man as well. Zaddy's in the house and we talking about my daddy, my biological yes. daddy. Oh. The biological one. Yes, that bi biological one. Well well now, Miss O, as the kids used to call you at our summer program. Not the school program. Yeah. Uh, Miss O, you said you seem to have some problems after our first episode last week. What was bothering you? Oh yeah, so you know, like, well, <laughs> well, first of all, <laughs> while we were going through it, I was I don't know if anybody realized I'm like mm, 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 all in the camera. But you know, I was talking to Alexis and I was like, So Alexis, like how do you how do you think it went? She was like, Mama, first of all, I just wanna let you know them braids are tired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, Alexis, what you mean? She's like, Ma, it is now 2024. You've had them braids since 2023. It's a brand new year. It's a brand new day. They tie. Let them go. Okay? Let them go. And I was like, I mean, for anyone that knows me, you know when it comes to like hairstyles, particularly braids, that yeah, you know, I, I definitely rock them to get my money's worth. Probably a little bit longer. They probably have reached, you know, their expiration date, but it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, 
uh, as you can see, 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 uh, they will definitely be, uh, yes, yes, they will, man. So the kids will get you every time. And, you know, I had some colorful language for her. <laughs> uh, but I thank her for her feedback. But then we kept talking and she was like, I also noticed that you don't have any eyebrows. So what's that supposed to mean? She's like, so I suggest that maybe next time you wear your glasses because when you wear your glasses, it'll, you know, cover up the fact, because I have my contacts here, it'll cover up the fact that, you know, you don't really have any eyebrows. It'll cover all that up. Yeah, cover all this up right here, all this right yeah. here. Yeah. Um, the, the glasses have a lot of things, and I wore my glasses, and I have no makeup on because when she said that i'm like well it's not that we don't have our brow we got them it's just they're so thin and they're not dark so when you actually see mine i've painted them on or i've uh, or i've drawn them on it's two different things that i'll use and it's like yeah i don't i don't see no eyebrows either but you know i'm wearing my glasses though where are your glasses um, I don't have them on. I have on my contacts, which I wear a hundred percent of the time. It's about no percent of the time that I wear my glasses. <laughs> okay. And then as Dorica said, be your own children. You got that right. That be trying to uh body shame because that's what I thought about. That's kind of body shaming telling somebody, you know, about their hair. And then you're gonna tell them that you don't have no eyebrows. Yes. And then she's going to talk about how, you know, it's okay, I've seen words. And then tell me the story about this girl that, you know, is at school. And, you know, she was like, I, I just couldn't even tell her that her hair was no longer, it was no longer hanging. And I'm just like, well, what do you mean? She's like, the girl mm -hmm. asked me, like, is, is my hair that bad? I said, well, what did you tell her? Because if anybody knows Alexis, Alexis is a Sagittarius, a.k.a. Sagittarius. You know, they don't have filters just like Scorpios. They pretty much speak their mind. And she was like, yeah, you know, I just, I didn't tell her that it looked bad. I was like, oh, oh, it, 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 girl, you know you look good. I said, so you're not even being a real friend. She's like, well, she wasn't no friend of mine anyway, so it didn't matter. She didn't want to help me in, in, in class, so not my problem. I said, ooh. <laughs> why were they even engaging in a conversation if she if because basically they just know each other from class so why was she in, inquiring from somebody from class how her hair looked i don't get that and uh and men was said so it's a family thing but men let me say this before and jay speaks no it's not a well my little sister she well she used to have eyebrows now i don't know what she got now but she used to have eyebrows and she used to have long lashes now, yeah, you know, she be putting on lashes now. But when we were growing up, she had eyebrows. They were thicker, but not thick, thick, but they were thicker. And she had lashes, but mine have never been, they've never been, they've never been bushy. No, no. And my girls, they do, they have those long, luxurious eyelashes that mm -hmm. curl up and the thick eyebrows. Obviously, they did not get that from their mom. From you. No, they didn't get it from you. Mm -mm. No. no. Not at all. So now, but you know, as as Eureka said, be your own children. Yeah. Now when she said that, how did that make you feel? I didn't pay her no attention because again, after she made all that statement, you know, she was pretty much like, Well, I think it's time for me get my hair braided because we're all natural so you know she's more into the the upkeeping and doing all the different little you know cutesy little natural styles i might just throw some braids in so i can go because i don't really like doing hair and even when i wear my hair out it's still wrap unwrap go like and for those that understand you get it like you don't have time you don't want to you know do anything with your hair you just want to be able to get up go and start your day and so, yeah, so she just kept talking and was like, yeah, I think it's time for me to get something done to my hair. And I'm like, mm-hmm, because them, them two little poofs that you wear, they they done played out. Hmm. So her poofs are played out now? Yeah, because, yeah, you know, it's like parted in the middle, oh. and it's two poofs mm -hmm. right here. I didn't realize yeah. it was parted in the mm -hmm. middle. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't catch yeah, she loves her a good bust down, girl. A good bust down. She loves a good bust down. But, yeah, so it's a bust down part with two poofs. And, and that is Bust down, is that a real phrase? Or are you just making it up? No, for real. That's what they call it. A bust well, down know, I, middle. It's a bust down part. I don't like the bust down parts. 
You you know that, right? Yeah. You know, I don't like the bus down because you see, it may be it's when you get to be a um a, a, a Marilyn Monroe. Because you know that bus down, you know, that becomes a permanent part. You know what I'm saying? Because your hair will always lay that way. So I'll have my styles, you know, I'll tell her we're gonna go this way this time. And the next time I'm like, and she's blowing me up, so we're gonna go this way. Because that becomes a permanent part. It does. And I don't want a bus it down. Does. And I have a couple of them. I I got the, the permanent part in the middle, the permanent part on this on both sides, basically. So no matter how you comb it, it's gonna just fall you know in its place so yeah it is kind of bad because i guess you know over time it could i guess potentially like you know impact like different hairstyles because then your hair is not going to lay right given on what you're getting done so yeah i can understand how that could be a problem but yeah yeah it's a problem and you know i'm i'm natural you know i'm natural too not the mama come back oh the mama you have come back you got i'm telling you like you got to be quick with the kids because the kids come you know they say if you really want to know how you look or anything like that just ask the kids they'll tell you they keep it 100 well they have no filter no and, and since you said that i asked their opinion about my glasses i was looking for glasses and i've been looking for a long time but i was like well i gotta get my glasses and so i took pictures I did I did them online and you know I had all these different pictures of of me with glasses on. So we all came to consensus because I sent them the pictures that this was a pair of glasses. Well, me and just get gray and then go ball. Well, that is true. That is true. And so anyway, I got my glasses. We all agreed that this was the pair. And then I put them on. And then what y'all say? <laughs> it wasn't kind. It wasn't. It was because <laughs> Alexis was like, Mom, why you didn't tell me those were the ones that she was going to wear every day? <laughs> I told her, don't get those. Don't get those. I said, but those are the ones you, you and Trinity both agreed on. She's like, yeah, but I thought she was just going to be wearing those when she was driving, not actually like every day we were going to see her with them on. <laughs> oh, so these were okay for driving. <laughs> But, Please, but not, not for wearing every no. day. No. So, and you know, you talk about body shaming. I, when I got my hair done, I asked my stylist, I said, what do you think about these glasses that I got? And I told her, I said, Anjaya and my nieces, they said no. And I said, they looked at the glasses beforehand, and we all agreed that this was the pair. And she's like, oh, I think they look fun. They look cute. And she was like, well, you know, sometimes, you know, family, it just takes them a while to get accustomed to you having sure. them on. And I said to her, well, yeah. I said, it's like when you color my hair. It used to be this way, guys. I just did not go with it. It used to be, I said, okay, we're going we're gonna to put my color in. And so she would do it, and she would be like, well, how do you like it? I'm like, well, I don't like it. And it would take me like two weeks. And then, oh, I love it because it would just be such a difference. But now I'm like, mm -hmm. just put me some color in. I was even ask me if I like, just do whatever you want to do. So when I have that different cut, she's just done my cut. I'm like, just do whatever. I don't care, you know, because my, my the way I see it is different. And I need somebody to see it objectively. But she said she thought my glasses were fine. Um, and I'm getting accustomed to them. I think I thought they were going to be bigger. but yeah, that. and you know, also when you when you do it, and hey, Alexis, as she like walks in and probably be like, oh my god, no, you didn't just put me on the spot, and you are live. Oh yeah, driving glasses, business glasses, casual. But well, you know, I'm planning to get all three uh, men as well. So I guess uh, y'all switch up with those pictures. Mm -hmm. I guess what I'm supposed to do is let this become my driving pair. Driving pair, and then I got to pick out two more. I need that casual pair, and then I need that pair of what I'm dressed up or going to church and trying to, uh, you know, you know, look appropriate. But yeah, because I'm like, what? And I it took so long to find them, and now it's like, oh, we don't like those. I'm like, I mean, well, it's, I mean, the thing is this, you know. Again, I feel like when you're doing those little try on features with like the different glasses or whatever, I mean, you're taking a chance right because you really don't know 
and it's also what they say it's the, the resolution like based on like the phone or like the computer or whatever it is that you're using so of course the color may look different and so that probably had a lot to do with it because the way it looked for us may not be the way it looked for you but i mean now that i've seen you a couple of times i mean it's growing on me like they look good i mean it was just that first time it was like Ooh. Right. <laughs> you know like i said to you oh, it's probably because my hair needs to be done you remember my sentence so my hair needs yeah. to be done and you're like i don't i don't know if that's it or not but Ugh. so um but, but I, i'm with you switch it up so i need and at the price that i'm paying yeah. i can switch it up i can and you know they've been having a sale they were three dollars a frame early this week or maybe last week so i'm like yeah but the thing is i it takes so long to figure out which one i like or which one i think is gonna look good because i've seen the people with the big like square ones and stuff and it looks good on them but it seems like i don't know because i've lost weight my face is not round anymore and it just looks like it's over just like they just it's just weighing me down yeah. you know so I, I just don't know but again it, it, your family be trying to own the slide body shaming you it's our hair oh yeah. not i had a i had one of them way back files way back you know way back it's way back really also with the, way back so she's like you doing all that smile and we can't see your eyes i'm like you want me stretch them out for you i mean i can't help that so, so uh now you said you got um so your features are not prominent is that what you're trying to say I guess that's what she was trying to say like because again i mean i can't help when i smile when i laugh whatever like you know my eyes they just go away and people are always like can you see yes i can still see but so i can't help that i mean you know well you just you're doing a genuine a smile and i guess your eyes are, as, you, as your smile is increasing your eyes are going smaller right so maybe it's the cheeks you know my my cheeks maybe well, that's true it could be the cheeks because your cheeks would be going up that's a good thing yeah, your cheeks are going up and your eyes are coming down that is probably part of it. i had never thought about it that way but yeah that would yeah. be part of it you know but um it's interesting though family genes you know as you yeah. know i popped my bar and what that means guys i wore braces and somehow or another last week i don't know what i did but thursday night i'm like hmm, my bars are loose the bar on the top i'm like hmm that's a loose and i called them on friday they were closed and then they gave you another number to call i called them it's like oh you know blah 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 blah, blah. they said you might want to call them back first of the week i said yeah you guys gonna be closed on monday right she said yes so i called them this morning and they got me in today and we removed my bar up top but i was talking with someone talking about the family um jeans and so forth and i was saying to the person i have my grandmother's teeth my grandmother my maternal my paternal grandmother she had spaces in the front uh top and bottom and so i have her teeth and someone said well you look more like your daddy than your mom because i was saying that my two sisters they didn't have any spaces in their teeth and um because you don't you, you have to think about it didn't you? but you don't and my well, lady doesn't either you know your, your teeth are together whereas i had the spaces in the front but i got grandma's teeth and the person said well you look more like your dad you know and, but then you know i was like well you know i guess that was a strong gene that came through uh with me but uh we're gonna have to fix it though they'll, they'll have to make me another bar and and then we'll get that on and so they were like do you have a retainer well i found a retainer i don't know how long ago this retainer was made and so it's a Hawley. I've been researching it, guys. H A W L E Y Hawley retainer. I've been on YouTube, YouTube University. I can't get my retainer. <laughs> and um, YouTube University. And the author Donna said, don't force it. So I can get it in, but I can't get it over my teeth. And that means it's not pressed up the roof of my mouth. So um, I'm gonna keep working on it. My thought was, I spent about 30 minutes trying to do that. And you know, you're just drooling. Oh God, they're like, no, you just, yeah, you just be drooling. Um, Some of the videos said that you're, you're, you've got something in your mouth. And so your saliva glands are automatically activated. I know I was on the university and cause I'm trying to push it in and then I can't get it over my teeth. And it's like, uh, so I'm thinking that I'm gonna keep working on it. And maybe it will loosen up because I don't know if this was my first retainer. 
which we know was just like five years ago. Right. Or if this was a retainer that I had like maybe 16 years ago while they had to make a bar. Because they said it had been 16 years since I had been there. But um, but yeah, you know, that DNA is is strong. So, you know, we don't have the fluffy eyebrows like my and other sister uh, does. And I don't have the texture of hair that she has either. Um, I don't have the texture of hair that you and you have, Angelia. Um, I hair has all different textures. But again, going to that body shaming, you really do have to watch your family because they will slide in a little shade real quick and then they'll walk out the room. Yeah. And they've gotten you told so nicely um, about your hair. Uh, about you, yeah, no eyebrows, and like I told her, I said I'm aware. No, I'm not putting any makeup on because yeah. uh, you can see I got you. Well, you got my eyebrows. I don't know who we got these from, but that prominent bone there too. Yeah, you know, sure. that eyebrow bone. So I mean, I'm looking at that's like, oh yeah, you can tell you sure have no eyebrows, but I do. They're just so thin because right. I can feel them. They're just thin. You know, and it's, it's like, like I don't know. Know. but it's look here though, we don't have no eyebrows, but then got the nerve to go get them waxed. <laughs> no, nah. I'm say, really, it's like I have had my eyebrows waxed a couple of times because it seemed like they, it was easier for me to shape them up, but I haven't mm -hmm. had that done in about five or six years. That because now I'm like, where are you gonna shape up? It's so thin, yeah. It's been, I think it's been a little a year for me since I've had my eyebrows waxed like it's not often mm -hmm. yeah but I do think it's funny though like because again it's like they're so thin and it's like you have the nerve to go get them waxed like what are they waxing skin I mean, like, <laughs> thin hairs but my hairstylist told me about something I'm, I'm about to ask her again but they it's some type of something you may even know what it is but they'll make them darker and oh, so, I'm talking about the um is it thread or like or tattooing because you know you can you know you can tattoo your I eyebrows i'm thinking about it it's almost like tattooing but it's not tattooing because i think it will last maybe three to four months um because she actually has eyebrows uh, but they're always shaped nicely but they were a little darker and i was like what'd you do because i was asking about what could we do for mine and she was like you know there ain't too much we can do with that no girl you can't they're, they're hardly there so i mean what can we can draw them in for you microblade there you go Dorica. that's what it is microblading but will the microblading make them darker i just shape them because see um, there you go henna tinting all okay. right that might be it, the henna tinted because it will make them stand out yeah, yeah. i think we said just a couple hundred i might be lying there you know i tell a lie I think she yeah, says it's it eighty five. Maybe it's about two hundred dollars. Maybe okay. It's, it's, Probably depends on where you go. Okay. You know. Yeah, because I told her I'd want the person that did hers to do my uh, preferably when she's around. Because you know, right. I don't know nothing about you this. Know, I'm just afraid about stuff like you know, like stuff like that. Like just getting a you know your eyebrows. I don't know. I guess like getting a tattoo mm -hmm. is different. That like getting like a regular tattoo is different than you know like. Mm. Not four dollars. It was <laughs> oh, food stamps. I tell you, um, I don't have an EBT card, but if somebody give me an EBT card, uh, Manswell said he'll do my eyebrows for four dollars. Is that going to be four dollars per total eyebrow? Or four dollars an eye, <laughs> an eyebrow? Because I'm telling you, um, you know, but if it's going to stay though, if it's going to stay, and you're going to have some coolness there and some shape, and people can actually see, we don't really care what other people can see, and I can actually see them, then it would be worth it, you yeah. know? Um, but you but, know, looking like all like, you know, like, like all, you know what I'm saying? Because you know how some people, their stuff, it'd be like too dark, and they be looking like very clownish, and you'd be like, ooh, now you know. I don't, I haven't seen those people on You haven't seen those people. I don't know. <laughs> and then they got the nerve to have on the windshield wipers. Or well, know. I know about the windshield wipers, but that's a different story because, you know, I have, you know, and I like it when I put on my lashes. But yeah. I tell you one thing, there are some that are like windshield wipers, but they're not even going to be that long. They get it. My glasses get in the way. So I'm wondering, how do people do that? But maybe they don't ever put on glasses and maybe they have contacts on because, you know, I can't put contacts in. Uh, I think that, oh, yeah. that the retainer was bad. God knows how long it probably take me to put the contacts in. I've never worn contacts. But, um, 
Yeah, I'm like, when I have on my lashes, they don't have to be the windshield wipers, but they just, my glasses are hitting them. And I'm like, huh? You know, uh-uh. That that's annoying to me. That, they're too long. That's, that's yeah. what they're yeah, they be too long, yeah. yeah. But yeah, the longer yeah. they are, I will say this now, the longer they are, the better they frame my eyes. Because I, my, okay. I, my, I, my eyelashes are so, so faint, too. That it frames and it's like, and I said to Molly, I'm like, oh, I didn't know eyelashes would do all that for you. Because yeah, yeah. when I first started putting them on, I was like, oh my God, this is something. Yeah. They need to be six inches mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But, you know, again, who are we trying to look good for? That's the it question is, now. It is. Who, I, I, honestly, it should be for self, but I think sometimes. We get caught up in like social media and like society to be like, oh, this is what you should look like per, you know, social media and society versus like the individual as to like, who are you, you right? And who are you to your, yourself? Because sometimes we, we want to be what everybody else wants us to be that we lose focus on who we are. And that's kind of like, again, going back to like the, um, with the lashes, right? At what point in time is the length too long? Six inches. <laughs> six inches. Yeah, six inches, they too long. But when am I going to realize they're that long? Because I don't realize. You're talking, you know, it's just like someone may get a, a boob job, you know? Yeah. They don't realize just how top heavy they are because. You know, they weren't very well endowed. Now they're really endowed and they don't realize that, you know, they're, they're good right there. And then they go back and they get them bigger, yeah. you know, because they're, for them, they don't see that they've changed. They know they've changed, but they don't see that. And so they keep striking out, trying to find what they assume is perfection. Um, and, that's, and that's, as you said, it's about knowing, you should be doing it for yourself, you should. knowing who you are embracing your journey embracing your life embracing who you are but that is somewhat difficult if we're really honest because we have so much stimuli hitting us that we're being inundated with it even when we don't think that it's, it's taking hold it's taking hold because it's in our subconscious now let me say this guys this is a good example of that now i'm getting ready to date myself you guys remember way back in the day way back and you would have a test the next day and you look at your whatever textbook, whatever, and then you you would sleep with it. And you sleep, you know, up under your bed. I mean, up under your pillow. Did that? Uh, oh, I, you did too. And you I, sleep, did I don't know if it worked, but I usually did pretty good. And you put the book up under your pillow. Now, now let's be real. Now, what was that really gonna do? Nothing. But again, nothing. But it's still my point is it's like that stimuli. You're hearing yeah. it, and you're not even aware that it's taking hold. But it does take hold. And it's like, okay, why am I doing this? Why did I choose this over that? Oh, because you're being inundated. And even though you may not acknowledge it, it's still sinking into our subconscious. And then before we know it, we're doing that. And that's something that we have to be mindful about. Because even though we're talking, we're lighthearted about the body shaming. And of course, she didn't look at at his body shaming because you as you said yourself you were sick you was looking at the camera and said mm, my hair need to be you can't see my eyes when i'm laughing you know even though you were saying that you weren't expecting somebody else to tell you that and it's like right. oh so then it becomes when you're on your zoom call with uh with your huddles and all that is that what they're thinking oh no because let me tell you when let me let me tell you when i'm in my when i'm in my on my zoom I gotta be on, on my Zoom and I gotta be on camera. I'm like, wait, wait. like, so, uh, so basically, all you see <laughs> is like this right here. <laughs> so they don't see you at all. That's all you see this right here. Your nose up. Huh? Yeah. Your nose up. And then look, and look, then my manager, when it's like me and her, with the one on one, she'll be like, and Jerry, I, I need you to move the, um, the top down, the, the top of the laptop down, I can't see you. I need to see all of you. I'm like, no, you don't. Because see, for those that work from home, you you know how it is. You be in that hoodie or something else. You know, with you know, you know, you very comfy when you work from the house. So it's like, uh <coughs> ma'am, you just need to see my face. You don't need to see nothing there. This right here is all you need to see. How how can I be of your assistance to you? 
No, nah, but um, yeah, no, mm -mm. It, it's it it is, and and the sad thing is, is that we do body shame a lot because I actually saw um like a an article because you know now what's it Haley yeah Haley Bailey you know like for the last few months everybody was speculating was she pregnant oh she's pregnant this is how we know she's pregnant. And then, you know, she went on, like, social media and was like, you know, don't be talking about my nose, like, I'm black. And, you know, that's kind of, like, offensive or whatever. But long story short, kind of found out, of course, she she was pregnant. But it's still, that's besides the point, though. Like, you know, you don't know how, like, sometimes words do hurt. Because mm -hmm. everybody doesn't have a thick skin, okay? But unfortunately, you know, the good thing for us is, you know, we, we came from them good strong stocks where, you know, them, our family didn't mind telling you like it is. They didn't mind no, no. feelings. It was still hurt your feelings right now. <laughs> but, you know, honestly, though, I don't think that they thought they were hurting your feelings. They, I think they thought they were giving you wisdom. And what we have to understand as children and then as parents that you can't necessarily do it do train me up the way that you were trained up sure. you have to do it a little differently um and when we don't do that sometimes it impacts relationships that parents have with their adult children and they don't understand the kid because i'm a kid we haven't forgotten how that made us feel and so it's like now, now we go we'll feed you with that long handle spoon as they yep. say you know, but that's the reason why, because it does hurt. And I'm reminded of, as we wrap up the session, you know, what is this? You used to say, sticks and stones may break my bone, but words, words will never hurt never me. Hurt. Mm -hmm. And that is so untrue. Yes, sticks and stones will break your bone, but hopefully they will mend too. But the True. words and what people have said to us, that stays with us a lifetime. Even when we have managed it, we've come to an understanding about why they said that and how they said it, it's still in us. So we have to be very, very mindful of how we interact with people um, because it can leave a lasting impression that's not the impression that we want to leave. So, And look, before we wrap this session up, I just want to say, has anybody else <clears throat> was like sick over the holidays? with like a cold or something and and now we several weeks out and you still hacking like it's like the lingering cough that just won't go away because i promise you i i don't know what to do with this if anybody has any suggestions drop it down in the comments on like how to make this this cough just go away because it's a tickle and oh honey it, it it gets it gets it gets you hacking and stuff and oh yeah that happens. Well, I don't I know. know, but I hope somebody will drop a comment down because, uh, well, uh, that was well, not, nah, I think, uh, Manuel said, now nah, he was a new y'all have been, have made my night now. Nah, you know, that made me think about that rock candy and that baby poop. She understand what I'm talking about. Oh, you get yeah. that liquor, honey, peppermint candy. Now you see, and you put it in a jar, honey, liquor, peppermint candy. Is that all it was? It used to be rock candy, but you'd put peppermint oh, candy yes. in there. Candy, so. honey, and the liquor. And I think maybe some people say you put that lemon juice in there. Mm -hmm. I used to have some in my um, my refrigerator. I probably had it until I moved last time, forever, because I would just keep adding stuff to it, you know. And that that was the homemade uh, cough syrup. Now you know, uh, okay. hot tea with honey. Mm -hmm. Okay, it helps a lot too. Yeah, because uh, you got to get that little tickle because it seemed like you always get it at the in, at the wrong time. <laughs> Over here trying to talk to the people, and I just like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, like, what's wrong with this well, again, Andrea, thank you for letting us know that. Uh, and as Manswell would say, we got to watch uh, our kids, Drake and Sig, and watch them kids because uh, they'll tell you the way it is, a TI is. And uh, your grades been, uh, should have been retired a long time ago. It's um, okay. Look at them. It's okay. okay. It's okay. You got that new growth. That's and, all. That's all it is. That's all it means. You got new growth, and we're going to have to do a pack, and you're going to have to find the pencil to put uphill for you. And I'm going to uh, put mine on sometimes, guys. Sometimes I just don't think about that. But uh, yeah, uh, it is a, it is in the DNA. Uh, we're going to have to look at our parents and see who. Neither one of them have there been. You big, 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 Thank you, Dorinda. Two, her, two hairstyles and wonder. Two hairstyles.
We hear we hear Dorica. She she understands. She understands. Yeah, tell me that name before we go. What's to her friend? She know her friend. That's that's it. She know her friend. Okay. Okay. You got two hairstyles and one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I you don't know what that means. But that means you it lasted a long time? It sure did. And I, you know, and I understand it. It is tough, but like I said, you know, it's so hard to say goodbye <laughs> to yesterday. <laughs> you know? so. Okay, it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Okay. Yes, it but. is. It's a lot of work. Like people don't understand. Like it's a lot of work, and you have to really be like mentally prepared. You know, to 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 tackle it, okay. And I think that also like has a reason why I, I don't mean any hurry to, because again, you know, it's like when you take the braids out, now what you gonna do? Because if you're not getting ready to go get your hair done, now I got to do something with it. No. And what am I gonna do with it? Well, do the, I don't know. The, whatever you call that part down the center, I but think Alexa can hit the buster part or whatever you call it, and get your two uh, puffs, one on one end and one on the other end, and just rock them. Okay. I believe she. I believe she can help you do that at least. Oh yeah, she'll definitely be able to help me do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just rock them, and you know, uh, for old times' sakes, you know, just rock them for old times' sake, and uh, then you'll be cute. But again, Anjay, thank you for real talk with Taz and Anjay. It's every time I get with you, I learn something new. I can't remember what you call that part, but that it's a bus, bus part. Down. It's a bus Tell down. Me. Bus down. Bus. Oh, bus down. Down. Yeah. Yes, girl. I'm calling it bust apart. But anyway, bust down. So I'm gonna have to tell my my. I'm trying to remember when I get my hair done next time. We don't want to bust bust yeah, down. Yeah. She'll be like, what you talking about? I'm gonna say this is what we were, they were telling me it was called. She'll be like, you just stop talking to them, Teresa. But yeah, we don't want to do a bust down. Uh, and we're gonna flip it every time. Yeah. And y'all gonna help me get a couple more pairs of glasses on the cheap. But they, they get great glasses, and I'm glad I found this company online. My glasses, everything is good. They got my prescription right. Um, but I need two more pairs yes. and maybe one pair of sunglasses prescription so that I can see when I'm driving in the sun. So there's three more pairs of glasses. But I will say this. I'm not, I'm not advertising anybody, but you can ask me, DM me, and ask me. I'll tell you who I got them from. But, you know, these are good glasses considering what i paid for yeah that's all i'm gonna say and they got my prescription right yeah. so if i got them another place i probably could have got about four pairs Girl. That's all, yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that so yeah. Yeah. i'm gonna say so yeah. if you want to know where i got these from just uh dm me and i will tell you because i'm telling you when you can get four pairs for the price of one that means something to me. Sure I don't do that to y'all, but it means something to me because that means I got more money to uh, do something else with. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us for uh, Real Talk with Taz and Anjaya. And we will see you guys next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Time, 7 p.m. Excuse me, 8 p.m. Eastern right. Time, 7 p.m. Right. Central Time. You're not going to help me out. I mean, you, this were, this I mean, you were flowing so well. I was like, okay, well, I'm going to correct her when she done. But okay, go ahead. You know, we're not supposed to interrupt each other. You know, you, you, you know, your parents taught you that you're not supposed to be rude and interrupt people while they're speaking. But, you know, we talk over each other. So, you know how that goes. Well, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you conclude it then, since I had it all back. You go right on ahead. You were doing, girl. You doing a good job, girl. You doing a good job. Go ahead. The eye you is pretty, pretty. Eye is smart. Eye's doing a good job. Is what you trying to say? Uh, you doing okay. an excellent job. You, you is smart. You is pretty. You doing a good job. You wrap that up. All right. Well, I'm gonna let you conclude it then. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us for Real Talk with Taz and Anjaya. And we will see you guys next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us for Real Talk with Taz and Anjaya. We're here on Instagram Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, put your thoughts in the comments. We love chatting with everybody. And if you want to know where I got these glasses from, put that in there and I'll let you know. And until next time, make sure you take care of you before you take care of someone else. Absolutely. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys for joining us. Bye-bye.